And here we have from videocards.com a little news here regarding uh, RAM. G Skill will introduce Trident Z5 Royal Neo DDR5 8000 memory with AMD Expo. Yeah, buddy. This is interesting stuff. Uh, at the time of the writing, at the time this is from uh, at the time of this writing on, on uh, videocards.com, the fastest DDR kit you can get is DDR5 6400. I'm running 6000 in, my, in um, Edna right now. Uh, this is much slower than Intel XMP base kits, which now go up to 8400 mega transfers a second. Expo stands for AMD Expended Profiles for Overclocking, which is a dedicated profile. For Ryzen systems, tested and validated by each memory maker. With the launch of the Ryzen 9000 series, AMD has focused on enabling faster DDR5 memory, DDR5 memory support. The latest Agisa now supports DDR5 8000 profiles, and motherboards will have uh, received uh, uh, support from the on the fly memory overclocking. Importantly, these features are being introduced to all existing AM5 platforms and chipsets. In other words, this speed will be supported by existing AMD 600 series boards. In fact, uh, Gigabyte has a uh, beta BIOS for my current board that uh, has support for uh, Ryzen uh, 9000, I believe. And uh, this memory kit, these memory kits that are coming out, G Skill is introducing their flagship Trident Z5 Royal Neo memory kit featuring two 16-gig modules, that's 32-gig total, with timings of CL38, 48, 48, 128. This kit will operate at DDR5 8000 speeds and is designed to work in a 1-2 to two clock divider uh, in, in the BIOS. The company has not made any further announcements regarding other series uh, receiving Expo 8000 Mega Transfer profiles. The Royal Series is undoubtedly the most expensive in G Skills portfolio. It's not going to suit everybody's preferences. Uh, it is confirmed that the mem memory will launch in August, but pricing hasn't been announced. Of course, they don't want to. They don't want to do that too soon. G-Skill does not offer a 2x16 gigabyte DDR5 8000 kit for Intel XMP platforms, but a 2x24, a 2x24 gig kit is available and costs 279 So what do you think? What do you think the price is going to be for this thing? Ooh, I'm looking at probably around the same. Some of the comments are uh, might be interesting here. Let's look through here. Yeah, everyone loves, I like that comment, everyone loves oversized RAM that gets in the way of your CPU cooler. Everyone loves that. Let's see. Nobody is, uh, nobody's really speculating on the price of this. Uh, this is a good comment, though. This person said, I hope that the 9800X3D will be able to hit those kinds of speeds without any problems. But the response, it's almost pointless. Hold on, I got to sneeze. Oh, boy. Yeah, I've been sick. I got to relapse. I've been battling a sinus infection for a couple weeks. I got uh, antibiotics. I took them, went to work, got went to the same press, got assigned to the same press that uh, infected me. And it's been a hellacious time ever since. But anyway, this response says it's almost pointless for X3D chips, especially running with super loose garbage timings. Tuned a uh, different story altogether. Yeah, I don't know. So, uh, yeah, we're, it's not going to, we won't see this until August, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, if you've got the money to spend on them, there you go. Eight. Thousand mega transfers a second for Ryzen 9000. Ooh! Ring the bell, subscribe to Gonzo Media. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.